Hi, my name is Ben Sadik. I'm the director of NCSY here in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'll be sharing a very short Dvar Torah on this week's Parsha, Parsha's Truma. So Parsha's Truma, as we know, follows Parsha's Mishpatim, in which we read the famous words of Nasa Vinishma, we will do, and then we will listen. Those were the words that were said by B'nai Israel at Har Sinai at the time of the receiving and giving of the Torah. But immediately following this section, where we receive the Torah, the Torah then moves into a totally new subject, the idea or subject of building the Mishka. The Pasuk says, Da'ber al-Bene Yisrael, mi'ukhali truma, speak to B'nai Yisrael, let them, let them take from me a portion, or take from me gifts. The question is, why does the Torah go from one section, the spiritually high and inspirational story of the receiving of the Torah, into the somewhat mundane idea and story about the building of the Mishka? So the Baal Shem Tov, he comments on this juxtaposition, and he says something that I believe we all know and all believe and understand, but it's sometimes so difficult to remember in the moment. What he says, very simply, is when you feel a spiritual spark, it's incredibly important to do something about it to make it real. Just take the inner feeling and turn it into actual action. Basically what this means is that whenever a person feels inspired, you need to do something to make it tangible, make it real to you, rather than just letting it dissipate and eventually fade away. I think we all can agree that inspiration is fleeting, and we need to do something about it now in order to make it last. Here in Central East NCSY, we just experienced an incredible regional Shabbaton with incredible speakers, incredible food, incredible singing, incredible ruach, and most of all, incredible inspiration. I know for myself that I walked away feeling incredibly inspired, and I think the same can be said for most of the teams. The question for myself now, and for everyone else involved in NCSY and JSU, is what to do next. What do you do to make sure the inspiration doesn't fade away within the next week or so? What can you do in your own lives, in your own cities, in your own chapters, wherever you are, to make sure that the inspiration sticks? We need to make sure that we do not let the inspiration fade away. And we can look, we can learn that example from this week's version right here, where Hashem says, okay, you're inspired, you're turned on, you're excited, that's great. But now you need to do something real. Go out and build the Mishkan. For us, it you know, that, that all depends on you. What does that mean? Does that mean doing more events in your city? Maybe it means that. If that means more learning one-on-one, -on -one, maybe it means that. Whatever it means for you is what it means. But the main thing, the main focus is making sure that the inspiration does not just fade away because we all know the inspiration that is not that is not taken care of eventually will fade away. Thank you so much for listening. Have an amazing Shabbos. Gone so far.